G'day, today we're going to have a look at the Mini Modi Ways Weekly Challenge. Okay, so this one's set in Dar es Salaam, and it's the challenge of the 18th of October. We have unlimited bridges. Uh, we start with four roundabouts, so both of those are very positives, and then we start with the destinations are more likely to be double destinations, so certainly a tricky little spin on things at the end there. Now, generally, I've, I've seen people say that if you've got double destinations, it's, it's um, a lot harder to sort of have those games where you just run for infinite. Um, but I did notice at the top of the, the charts for this particular weekly is 72,000. So obviously someone's cracked the code on <laughs> what you need to do for that. Okay. So let's flip this. Uh, actually, I was going to say we'll send those two at the top, send these two down the bottom, but these two at the top. Um, these two at the bottom, rather, can't get around to that one there. It does seem like this one could go poorly quickly. Roundabouts are pretty big. Oh, we already got four roundabouts where we didn't need another one. It's not really the sort of map that's going to benefit from having a lot of bridges. I think three bridges and you'd, you'd be spoilt for, for never needing another one in this one. That's a, certainly an interesting little layout we're getting here. I mean, this design currently does not cater to the idea that there's going to be another colour in any of these spots. But the way this is building, I feel like it's going to be the same colour. Like, we're going to get a blue factory somewhere, and then this is just going to start to hit us with blue factory, blue factory, blue factory. Because of how quick we're getting doubles so early, obviously, since we're going to get nothing but doubles. I mean, a problem that this is creating already, though, is that if we have... A community south of this thing that could be completely blocked. Okay, let's pause for a second. So we've now got yellows coming in top. So we'll hit that. What we'll actually do is I'll, I will leave these guys coming in the same way. Go around about. Put this guy to drop under. And then these guys to drop under. So the the logic that I'm building with here is that you can see when the cars come in, they go to the right, they turn left into a parking space, and then they turn left and go out. So if you've got cars coming in both sides, it means that they guys are coming up this way while others are coming down, and they actually will essentially like get in each other's way as they want to leave. So having everyone enter from the same direction is a better flow inside the car park. It does mean that there's going to be more congestion outside the car park, but once they're in, it's less. So the question is, which is worse? Congestion here or congestion out here? And I'm currently running on the theory that congestion in here is worse. Okay. Blue guy. So now we've got to get these guys in. Across one of these um, joins. Again, we can kick that into being a roundabout. Uh, and what we'll do is we'll just give red the option, since we've only got one guy here, by making that a roundabout, we can at least go and clean this up a bit more. And sure, let's just extend this roundabout out over there. This is not very good uh, at the moment, though. Uh, what it means is that it can, the red guys from here can actually now go to anywhere. Problematically, you could actually have a red guy from here go, this one's overloaded, go all the way to this roundabout, around, through that car park, back to this roundabout, and out there. So, definitely some problems about the, uh, the way I've got this laid out at the moment. That we'll want to address. And really, the way to fix it will be that we change, we get rid of that, we send these two guys north, and then just bring them 
down into that so that there is no connection between this uh, this half and that half. Definitely a different sort of layout to most of the levels we see. All the factories just stacked. It's going to be eight very closely stacked factories in there. Yeah, so this is the only piece of water that we really have to cross in this. Um, so, I mean, an infinite amount of bridges is going to come in too handy. here and only two there we could consider uh, sort of changing this so that there's more on that top one um, all right let's pause this for a second because this guy's getting a little bit wildly We will disconnect this and let these guys just go take care of that circle. So then it means we've got three guys here to look after this one and then those two to look after him. there to stop them slowing down. Oh, that one doesn't need one. I mean, this guy's got so many houses, he's got probably the most bulked of anyone, and he's doing the worst. So you can see down here, the sort of the traffic coming in against each other. I mean, it works so well if they just logically parked either at one end or at the other, but they don't, it's very random the way they'll choose where they're going to stop. So it does mean that um, they do get in each other's way. So now we've got two guys up here, starting to form a little community. Do we only have two guys looking after this at the moment? I mean, it's still it's still doing all right at this point. It's a really an awkward place in there. So let's pause for a second. Rotate that out a bit higher. Allow that guy to have his own connection into that roundabout. Okay, I was going to say, fingers crossed that's light blue, but being dark blue. Okay, being dark blue, this connection here to this roundabout probably doesn't matter because there's no yellow, there's no dark blue on this side, so they're just going to basically ignore that as a connection. Um, what we could probably now do is get rid of this road and make that a highway because then what we can do is we can... Make two separate roads into this. One for red. And then one for dark blue. Let's 
it's certainly not a very... I wouldn't call this one a pretty layout, but, but what I would say it is, is it's a, uh, a different layout. It's certainly a different design to what we would normally see. Uh, it makes you have to think differently about the way you're building. Okay. So apparently we've got four guys there, so why don't we just change it so that it's these four guys look after that, we'll rip that up and send these guys north Let's put him up. So if, assuming if, if we leave it, that is just one, um, one guy on, as this outlier, he'll be the last guy to ever be used, hopefully. So what that means is that that light will never change. And so the function of that light is basically just to, to say that you don't have to slow down as you pass through here. We've currently only got four yellow houses looking after these two. We do have another motorway. So I have this little community of guys here that are possibly closer to this than... Possibly is no right word. Are closer than they are. So, pause for a second. We'll have to get rid of that to allow these guys to connect properly. Let's move that just north a little bit. Let those guys connect in there. Uh, we'll then just run them straight across. Get rid of that. Again, there's no real reason then that these red guys need to not be a bridge and I think there's a benefit to them not being a bridge as well is that we can have these two guys fold into their um their movement as well I'll wait for them to come off that bridge cool that highway rather get that across set the lights in there cool and that gives these guys a new purpose Means that we've got this connected here, though. Okay. So, what we can do there is we do still have some. Um, maybe he needs to stay that way because that's that guy's circular. Let's put a roundabout in there. Let's put a little flip off that. Right up that side. So again. Um, even though that's connected to this road, there's no one that actually would need to pass through this because that's only for the dark, pur uh, dark blue and purple. And so there's no dark blue and purple anywhere down here that, that are going to use that. This guy here can connect in there and go join this connection. Take the motorway, connect this guy across that way too. him in there. Um, now since he's connected in there, let's shift some of these guys down. Get rid of him as well. Because he can connect to there, we'll just put a set of lights in. Now again, these two guys, these guys aren't looking great. So let's Let's put a roundabout in. Up them from there. 
here. Now, it does mean that they can do both of these two. But, I mean, that's so close that it's not too much of a problem if they do go out and try and clean up both. I mean, part of the layout of this does seem off to me, though. That shouldn't be connected. That's actually going to create problems with these red guys heading through. So let's get rid of that roundabout and just send it slightly further south. Pull that guy out and move him further back. And then what we can do is just get these guys out of there. Get them to head south, this one. So that hopefully they predominantly look after this guy. And we, we sort of clean up a lot of the traffic in this. It's only going to be whether these guys see it's on them to, to go and um, take care of this one as well. Now, are we okay with this, this guy here? We've got two different guys that are... But both of these have suddenly started to, to complain a bit more. What we'll do is we'll just grab... Ah, oh, there's no point in pulling them out of that roundabout. Let's get these two guys in there. So that there is definitely becoming a bit more of an issue. So, wipe that out. Send that in there, pull that to there, get rid of that. Um, send these guys to here, and then we'll send that motorway to the north side, just so that we can clean up the, the congestion of these roads. Apparently there's no one available to, to go and help out here. Oh. I've created a weird little congestion here. These cars that don't know where to go. Two blue cars now that are just stuck. There they go. Okay. So let's figure out this mess now. Okay. So, um, dark blue. I mean, I suppose we can just sort of make that connection, and that should address both of them. Which means that red is now... <laughs> red is now better off connecting here. That one... That one blue car is killing me. So I just can't get red to move. There we go, he's finally... Just hopefully... Uh, no, yellow's also stuck on that. Oh, this is, uh, this is dire. Well, nothing I can do about that, I suppose. Happens to the best of us, the game sinks you. Uh, I'm not sure I'll post that one, but so here we go.